All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Merciless. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC women's featherweight champion of the world, Holly the Peaches Doctor. So Holly Holm only started training full-time in MMA in 2013, so still developing her all-around game. No denying how gifted she is on the feet, and when the takedowns and the grappling starts to catch up with the striking, a scary proposition to everyone at 135 or 145 pounds. Nice combination of kicks there by the Preacher's Daughter. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. Oh, landing some big shots, too. Oh, that's high kick. Oh, now a big left hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Goodness gracious, she lands another... Jab there by Holly Holm. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Good defense. Holm gets tattooed by that straight punch. High level stuff on the counter there. She waited for her opponent to engage. Another one! Big elbow. Man, these women are delivering for fight fans around the world. What a start to this fight. How could you possibly be seated when you are watching this level of activity from these two women at the beginning of the fight? Holmes' nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. All right, so she landed the strike there. That's the good news. Bad news, though, it just didn't do much damage. Her cardio has really abandoned her at this stage of the fight. She's got that single collar in the clinch now. Well, Holmes kicked to the body. That one blocked. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now you see it. The game plan, everything's clear now, and we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down the finish. Nice crack there. She's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicep. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. Man, her jab is good. Trying to set up that counterattack. Holmes nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without one. Right on the box. Another big shot to the head. Oh, good series of punches by her there. She's in her zone. She's flowing right now. Oh! oh how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. That was a slick transition. 
She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Holly Holmes back inside control here. Oh, that elbow got through. Her ground and pound is lethal. That is a very nice elbow from the top position. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the She body got fight. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the body fighter. Posters up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Nice pass. Final seconds. Holmes back in full guard now. Well, you can smell the stop, rust stop, stop. and the blood from the broadcast booth now as she continues to target that nasty cut. You know, you look at some of these fighters, and you can see all the blood pouring, and you see them still with that fight in their eyes. She still has the fight in her eyes. You might want to think, though, maybe it's time for her to call it a day, live to fight another day. It might be that time, guys. Well, she's done a nice job just hammering the cut on that eye. I'm not sure how much more fight time we're going to have tonight. Yeah, she will not be able to go through this much longer. She took way too many shots to the eye, and now she's dealing with a nasty cut. She's Ready got fight. to be more focused Ready. on the defensive side Ready. if she wants an opportunity to win this fight. All right, second round underway. She's getting up. Yep. Massive head kick. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent won outside of fight. Oh, beautiful hip toss there to take her down. She's flying Cormier Airlines tonight. She's flying first class. She got thrown right on her head. You've got to keep those hips back if you're going to defend this position. All right, so now we start to see some visible damage in the form of swelling as the ground and pound strikes continue to land. Well, Holmes passes Denot. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike lands. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Holmes in half goal. Nice transition. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Oh, she's got her back. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet, and the crowd is absolutely eating it up. She was not going to settle on her back. Even though it was very difficult, she finally works her way back up, and now she's got to let the hands go. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She, she's setting up a submission here. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Great decision there. Maintain position over submission. Very, very smart. Mm, nice. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. All right, so after a great back and forth engagement on the ground, the fighters get back to their feet, and the crowd really showing their support for these two women. The crowd goes crazy because they appreciate the high level grappling that these. Oh! Oh my goodness! All right, so she gets the flush knockout here tonight. And you got to think this is going to lead to a lot of big fights the rest of the way this year. Big opportunities are presented after you have a performance like this. She did an amazing job and got a massive knockout victory.
the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marshall Les. Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her and her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I knew